begun by the detonation of their warhead. During and after World War I, a number of inventors devised small, remote-controlled, tracked vehicles intended to carry an explosive charge. The Crocodile Schneider Torpil Terrestra carried a 40 kg explosive charge and saw limited combat use in June 1916. It performed poorly and was eclipsed by the first tanks, then being introduced. The Aubriet Gabet Torpil Electrique was driven by a single electric motor powered by a trailing cable. This vehicle may have been steered by clutch control on its tracks, although early versions may have lacked steering of explosives. The vehicle was steered remotely via a joystick control box. The control box was connected to the Goliath by a 650-meter, triple-strand cable attached to the rear of the vehicle. The cable was used both for control and for transmitting power to the electric-driven version. Two of the strands were used to move and steer the Goliath, while the third was used for detonation. Each Goliath was disposable, being intended to be blown up with its target. Early model Goliaths used an electric motor but, as these were costly to make and difficult to repair in a combat environment, later models used a simpler, more reliable petrol engine. Goliaths were used on all fronts where the Wehrmacht fought, beginning in early 1942. They were used principally by specialized panzer and combat engineer units. Goliaths were used at Anzio in Italy in April 1944, and against the Polish resistance during the Warsaw Uprising in 1944. A few Goliaths were also seen on the beaches of Normandy during D-Day, though most were rendered inoperative due to artillery blasts severing their command cables. Allied troops also encountered a small number of Goliaths in the Maritime Alps following the landings in southern France in August 1944, with at least one being used successfully against a vehicle of the 509th Parachute Infantry Battalion. Although a total of 7,564 Goliaths were produced, the single-use weapon was not considered a success due to high unit cost, low speed, Bratislava, Slovakia. An unmanned ground vehicle is a vehicle that operates while in contact with the ground and without an onboard human presence. Generally, the vehicle will have a set of sensors to observe the environment, and will either autonomously make decisions about its behavior or pass the information to a human operator at a different location who will control the vehicle through teleoperation, the UGV is the land-based counterpart to unmanned aerial vehicles and unmanned underwater vehicles. Based on its application, unmanned ground vehicles will generally include the following components, platform, sensors, control systems, guidance interface, communication links, and systems integration features. Unmanned ground vehicles are generally considered remote-operated and autonomous, although supervisory control is also used to refer to situations where there is a combination of decision-making from internal UGV systems and the remote human operator. The Themis, unmanned ground vehicle, is a ground-based armed drone vehicle designed largely for military applications, and is built by Milram Robotics in Estonia. The Talon is one of the fastest unmanned ground vehicles on the market, easily keeping pace with a running soldier. The ASSCM is a civilian unmanned ground vehicle developed in Yuzunju Yil University by scientific project granted by TUBITAK. The vehicle is a low-cost small-scale construction machine which can grade soft soil. Turkey's unmanned ground vehicle weapon platform, developed by defense contractors Katmersiler and ASELSAN. The first concept of the vehicle is equipped with the 12.7mm SARP remote-controlled stabilized weapon systems, the Ripsaw is a developmental unmanned ground combat vehicle designed and built by Howe & Howe Technologies for evaluation by the United States Army.